What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all my single back deuce close scheme out of the Tennessee Titans playbook. But you can also see all the playbooks that contain this formation. Let's go ahead and jump into the audibles that I like to have in my back pocket. These are going to be the primary four plays that I run out of this formation. HB Wham, HB Stretch, Bench, and PAX post cross this is going to be that one play touchdown that's going to bomb multiple defenses now you're more than welcome to come out in any one of these formations uh i'm sorry any one of these plays out of this formation my go-to that i like to come out is actually the pa deep cross but you're more than welcome to come out in hb zone whatever it is um we're going to start off by showing you all how to uh, set up the the money play downfield the pax post cross and then we'll give you ideas of when to audible to this and when to audible to that and then we're going to jump into some gameplay against real users so you can see how effective this scheme with the single back deuce cross really is so let's jump into the practice field and show you all how we set up this money play all right first things first we're going to start off with the money play now this money play is primarily for cover one cover three and cover four the first defense we're going to be going against is going to be a cover three now i know there is other routes that can keep that cornerback shallow you'll see what i'm talking about when we run that play but i'm gonna keep it real with you the best way to be consistent and always get this done is either have a wide receiver apprentice or hot route master to get that post corner like i said you're gonna see what i'm talking about when we get it set up um, another thing about this play, if you're on the left hash, you want the deep post going from right to left. If you're on the right hash, you want your deep post going from left to right. What we're going to go ahead and do is motion out the X receiver. We're going to be putting him on the post corner. That's where you either need the wide receiver apprentice or hot route master. Then you're going to go ahead and put the A tight end on a streak. You can keep the wide tight end blocking. You can keep the play action because we're going to be hitting them with stretch plays, the whams. So, you know, it'll keep that user true. If they're hitting you with zero blitzes or just heavy blitzes in general, get out of that play action. Put them on a different route, whatever you need to do. Uh, but don't stay in play action. Now, this is going to complete, completely bomb cover three over the top right here. Let's go ahead and run the play. You can see the post corner does a really good job of keeping that cornerback shallow and we're able to get that one play touchdown if you have a burner or a really good route runner you're going to get that one play touchdown every time against cover three all right now we're going to be going against a cover four drop same setup go ahead and put uh x on a post corner a on a streak and then same thing with the y tight end and then your uh running back you can put them on whatever routes you want to another route combo i like to have is actually putting the running back on a wheel route this is a nice check down it can also beat man coverage um with the against going against cover four drop you're going to be a little patient watch what happens to that safety you see how he kind of went left and then he went right that was just a bad throw by us but you can easily turn this into a one play touchdown let's run that one more time so you can see that this is consistent and then you know it's not just a one play type thing that i got lucky um same setup i'm gonna go ahead and put the running back on a wheel route you do have to be a little patient just wait for that safety you're gonna see he goes right again and then that's when you're gonna throw the ball he's gonna try to like focus on that tight end and he's gonna give you that space to throw the ball if you have a burner you can actually turn this into a one play touchdown a lot easier all right real quick i'm going to show you what this looks like against a cover one that's man coverage with one deep safety over the top same setup x on a post corner a on a streak and then the running back i do like that wheel route combo so we're going to keep going with that wheel route now a couple things about cover one there's a, a possibility that there's traffic between all the dbs and your tight end and your receiver sometimes the traffic will go in your favor sometimes it'll go in the defense's favor if there's no traffic you're gonna win that post route every single time but that's just one of the things that is the good with the bad that i'm going to tell you about if that does happen look for the wheel route or look for the post corner and you might get lucky with the tight end being open we're going to try to get one without traffic so you can see what it looks like do we just get that separation and we're able to just launch this ball all the way to the left like which we did right here we had the speed to get that separation if you have a good route runner it's actually a lot better to have a better route runner than to have more speed but if you have the best of both world the best of both worlds then by all means you know put that guy at that position to create the most separation all right now that we got the money play out the way the next play that i want to talk about is going to be bench this is going to be my cover two beater and also another man beater that you can run if you're no they're in man you can literally run this play as a default keep the tight ends on the five and outs keep the two corner outs but the way I like to set it up is go ahead and put both tight ends on a streak and you're running back on a five and out or five and in, whichever one you prefer. If you do have hot route master or uh, the ability with the running back that gets more uh, hot routes, go ahead and put them on the flat. It's It makes the 
the flats react for the defense a lot quicker and make them it keeps them shallow and it gets the b receiver and the x receiver open quicker and i also like to smart route the corner routes just to give them a little bit more yards we're going to be going against a cover two right here this is the perfect play against cover two you're just going to lead this ball to the corner right here you can easily turn this into a one play touchdown if you got nice stick work usually it's going to be one or two guys that you have to beat to get that touchdown and like i said you can also also use this play for man coverage all right, the next play I want to talk about is going to be the PA deep cross. Now, this is the one that I said I like to come out in. This isn't, this wasn't in my audibles. Honestly, I probably should have started with this play because this is the play that literally beats everything. Um, if you've seen my channel before, you know about this route. And when you smart route it, it completely beats everything. The only way you can stop it is if your user is out there guarding it themselves. What you're going to do is smart route the B receiver, put X on a streak. Now, whichever way you're going, I have my B receiver going from right to left. So we're going to keep the Y tight end blocking. If you had the X receiver doing this, you're going to keep the A tight end blocking. By all means, if you want to put them on a route, you can. But this play does take a little bit of time to develop. So I like to keep that uh, that extra blocker there. And then the other tight end, you could put them on whatever route you want to put them on. I usually like to put them on a five and out. If you do have hot route master or tight end apprentice, I love to put them on the corner route. And then I'll put my running back on a five and out. So I got a high low read on my left. And then I got a route that just can't be stopped unless the user's over there to the right i'm going against random defenses i don't know what they're going to be throwing at me just to show you how good this route is um you can get out the pocket if you need to right there we got pretty we got uh pressured pretty quick and we're still able to get this off because throwing on the run is just op this year um we're going to run it a couple more times just so you can see we're going against random defenses i don't know what they're throwing at me we'll keep the play action this time and it's just a little five and out and then you're going to see this is man coverage. It beats man coverage. You do not need a top tier route runner. You don't need a burner. You're going to uh, create separation. We'll run it one more time. This is just to show you how consistent this money play is right here. Like I said, I probably should have started with this. Oh, they, they brought the heat that time. We still get open, though. Throw on the run is OP. I highly recommend you throw on the run. But that's going to be the PA deep cross right there. All right, so now let's talk about the two run plays, the HB wham and the HB stretch. It's pretty self-explanatory. If they're playing outside do the hb wham if they're pinching their d-line you're gonna hit them with the stretch if you see a play you just like that you know the stretch runs uh works against run the stretch same thing with the wham honestly they're both top tier run plays that can get you good yards against any defense but for example right here the defense they're in i'm going against random defenses they got the middle of the field open for me uh you know their d-line's pretty wide right there so we're going to hit him with the hb wham this is a solid run play look at that right there don't know what defense i just picked random defense um let's see what else they give me and i can give you an example if i would do the stretch same defense we're going to hit him again with it the wham just go ahead and audible to it wide open in the middle this is when you're going to want to use it if they don't give me any uh, defenses where the d-line is pinched we'll get into one and then i'll show you um okay this is a time i actually would use the stretch you can see that they're heavier to the left side so i'm just going to take that option to the right side another thing i like to do to keep it looking similar to the money play i will motion out the wide receiver that cornerback will go out there with me and then we'll just go ahead and run the stretch like this get some good blocks you can see right there we get five yards probably could have got more yards but i'm not really trying to use stick work right now just showing you the plays but like I said, okay, this is another good op opportunity to use the stretch. You can see they have that inside clogged. They're heavier to the right. We're going to flip the stretch to the left, and we're going to get some good yards. If we get good blocks right there, we were able to get five yards. But you see the point right there. If they're heavy in the inside, do the stretch. If they're heavy to the outside, audible to the wham. And that's kind of how you use the scheme, including with the money plays here and there. You're just going to mix and match things depending on what you're seeing with the defense. We're going to jump into some head-to-head -head games and show you all this being used against real users. Every day I'm sipping chemicals, choking on ammo, running from ghosts. Every night another episode. I'm watching this logo, changing the channel. Cause I don't wanna.
was beautiful.